Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Justin and happy Labor Day weekend, everybody. It's that time of the season where everyone recommends throwing down your last dose of fertilizer for the summer season. So I'm about to head up to Home Depot and grab some uh, and I'll show you what I'm picking up. I have a lot of rain here in the forecast, so I don't even have to water it in. So it's gonna be a good day. Stick around, stay tuned, and I'll show you what I'm working with. So I just picked up the Scott's Lawn Food. Uh, there are a lot of designer fertilizers out there, but you don't have to go crazy with this. I'm getting the Lawn Food because it has a lot of um, fast release nitrogen. Uh, a lot of like your Melorganite and some of the designer stuff is actually gonna be a lot of slow release. I'm just trying to get some quick results. I know fertilizer is expensive right now. I just picked up that bag that you saw for $66. So it's not cheap. I know it's not cheap. Um, some of the designer fertilizers can be much more expensive than that. So I'm just going with the cheaper option and getting some quick results, fast release nitrogen. Um, so my that bag, I think it's like, I don't know, 13, 14,000 square foot it covers. Um, so I'm gonna throw that down on my lawn. All right guys, so we're back at the house and I'm just gonna show you why I picked up the Scott's Lawn Food. Um, it doesn't have, I don't think it has a lot of micronutrients in it, like your iron and uh, things that help your soil out, like humic and fulvic acid. But I actually apply those separately to my lawn, so I don't need anything that's um, amending the soil in any type of way. I just need that nitrogen uh, to push the grass today here on Labor Day. Um, let me show you exactly what I look for and how I apply this. All right, guys, so... This bag covers 15,000 square foot. We have 37 and a half pounds of it. And um, here you can see your NPK ratio. Uh, today we're just carrying about the nitrogen levels. So this has 32% nitrogen, which is every pound of this is gonna be 0.32 nitro nitrogen. So to calculate out how much of this we need to put down, if we're doing the three quarter pound, um, that's 0.75, uh, of a pound per thousand square foot. So my front lawn here is uh, 5,000 square foot. So um, whenever you, if you wanna calculate this out, so you, you just divide the number you want by the percentage of nitrogen that's in the bag. So this could be any number. Just take your number, put it on the bottom, and then put at the top, if you're doing three quarter pound like I am, you're just gonna put 0.75, if you're doing one pound, you're just doing one over 0.32, and that will give you how many pounds per thousand square foot that you're gonna put on your lawn. So, I have 5,000 square foot. I'm gonna put 2.34 pounds per thousand square foot. Hey Google, what's 2.34 times five? Three, four times five is 11.7. So according to Google, 11.7 pounds is the total amount of uh, product that I'm gonna put on my front lawn over here. So I'll crack this bad boy open. I'll weigh out 11.7 pounds and I'll evenly spread that across my lawn.
about it for me, guys. Uh, I always get sweaty at the, by the end of these videos when I'm doing all this lawn work. But I just wanted to share my um, my Labor Day weekend fertilization application with you guys and just talk a little bit about how to calculate the nitrogen levels that you're going to be putting in your lawn. Um, as far as spreader settings go, I know most of you guys probably have the the Scott's spreader like I do. And if you have that one, I normally stick between three and a half and five for the settings. Um, just depends on the how big the prill size is. Um, you just gotta kind of got to judge it. But if you're in that range, I mean, you're going to be fine. Just try to spread it as evenly as, as you can. Um, and a lot of times those Scott's products, they'll actually have the, the spreader setting that they suggest. Normally it's about three and a half. Uh, sometimes I bump that up to five. Um, and then don't forget guys to water it in. I'm getting rain help um, today, so I don't really need to water it in. We also have got rain earlier um, and it's starting to rain right now. Um, and that, that'll water my fertilizer in. Um, and then it, for measuring it out, I just use a fish scale and a bucket. But I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Please like and subscribe the vid to the video if you um, like this kind of content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.